Okay, I recently learned about buy nothing and I have to share because it is the most anti-capitalist thing I've ever heard of. This is a New York Times article on it. The way it works is say you have something in your house you don't want it anymore, you list it on here. It could be anything. As you can see in the title, dryer lint, hot commodity, why? Hamsters use it to make their bets. Boom. Good for decluttering, community building, you get to know the people in your area, ethical consumption, of course, all the environmental benefits because you're reducing demand for certain products, reduce consumerism, waste, all of those good things. And it feels good to give back. Also, if there's something you want, you can ask your community and see if anyone has. I want to promote like give and take. So originally it was started as Facebook groups, but now they also have their own app. So Basically, what it is, from medical supplies to half-eaten birthday cakes, buy nothing is fostering a quirky sense of community that is mostly fun and occasionally irritating. Okay, so if you join on the app, you have to be within a 0.5 to 20 mile radius. So this is all about local communities. But if you don't want to use the app, there are these groups on Facebook. So there's Buy Nothing NYC, Buy Nothing WeHo. Just look it up on Facebook and see if your area has one. And if not, maybe you could start one. I used to just donate everything to Goodwill until I learned that that's not the best option. 5% of the stuff that's donated to Goodwill well, still ends up in a landfill, which creates more microplastics, which continues to really fuck up our earth here. So I started donating to local mom and pop thrift stores. But this is also a really ethical, sustainable option. People are even giving their pickle juice because they were like, I don't want my pickle juice anymore. And someone was like, yeah, I like to have pickle juice after I take my shot. So Upper West Side, boom. And the story behind it's really cool too because it was started by two women. The founders are from Bainbridge Island, Washington. It grew to 6,700 independent buy nothing Facebook groups in 44 countries. So they made such a big impact. I love this kind of stuff. Here's a quote by one of them. We have plenty right here within each of our local communities to sustain us. In the language of buy nothing, everything we possess has value if you can find a person who needs it. If we reuse and refurbish and fix and repair and just keep recycling these items, nothing needs to be discarded. Even partially eaten foods, used furniture, clothing, baby items household goods in LA a big thing is lip gloss I don't know about that one in Silicon Valley someone gave artwork that was worth ten thousand dollars then the fish water the dirty fish water people use it for their plants because it's nutrient rich awesome another thing I thought was cool is people lend out like cake sheets and cake pans something to just borrow for a few hours instead of going and buying one it's also great if your grandma has something and she can't move it like a workout item I don't know someone will just come pick it up so you don't have to hire someone but yeah let me know if you guys have ever used this or given anything or if you've ever had any really unique finds okay ciao